let us now discuss about Behcet's syndrome. This is categorized as a variable vessel vasculitis as it can involve either the large, medium or small sized blood vessels. What is the genetic risk factor? Important HLA B51. Coming to the pathology, there is lymphocyte infiltration neutrophil hyperreactivity and importantly endothelial dysfunction. The age of presentation is 20 to 40 years. What are the common clinical manifestations of this vasculitis? The most common and universal manifestation of Behcet's disease is the presence of oral ulcers. They are seen in 100% of patients with Behcet's disease. You can also have genital ulcers over the scrotum or the labia. Ocular involvement can be there. The classic involvement is that of a bilateral pan uveitis. Bilateral pan uveitis. Joint involvement in the form of arthralgia or arthritis. Vascular involvement. So this can result in superficial thrombophlebitis, deep venous thrombosis, cerebral venous thrombosis, Butt-Chiari syndrome and interestingly pulmonary artery aneurysms. Neurological involvement important it can cause strokes especially involving the brain stem so brain stem strokes are common in patients with behcet syndrome gastrointestinal manifestation clinically and by endoscopy will closely mimic crohn's disease okay right now coming to the diagnosis the criteria for the diagnosis is the ISG, International Study Group Diagnostic Criteria. So, as per this criteria, to establish the diagnosis of Behcet's disease, one manifestation that has to be there is oral ulcers. Oral ulcers has to be there. Plus, any two of the four manifestations, which would include Number one, recurrent genital ulcers. Number two, skin lesions. What are the common skin lesions that can be seen? Number one, you can have acne-like skin lesions. And number two, you can have erythema nodosum. Erythema nodosum. The third is the ocular involvement. And the fourth is a pathology test. So what is a pathology test? So you are doing this test. This test is done using a, a needle which is often a 20 gauge needle. You are giving a prick over the skin and 24 to 48 hours after the prick. So 24 to 48 hours after the prick you have the development of a papule or a pustule in which case it is referred to as a positive pathology test. It is a non-specific hyper reactiveness of the skin. So two out of these four manifestations along with oral ulcers that would mean the diagnosis of Behcet's syndrome. Coming to the treatment this would depend on the severity of manifestations. Patients with mucocutaneous manifestations like oral ulcers, genital ulcers, you can try topical steroids. If the response is not adequate, you can try colchicin or aprimilast. In cases of mucocutaneous involvement, not responding to these measures, you can try oral steroids. Oral steroids can be used for the other organ system manifestations of 
they have such disease as well. Now, along with steroids, you will give a steroid sparing agent for longer duration of treatment like SA thioprin. And in many instances, like the GI involvement, you might have to add infliximab along with the SA thioprin. This is in a nutshell about Bassett's syndrome. My dear friends, welcome to this QRP session. This will be high intensity, little rapid revision without taking too much of time. You have to reconfirm whether it is hematuria itself. Yes. Can you see hydrocephalus in the child? Can you see diffuse brain calcification in this patient? And can you see this focal polyuretinitis? There is a central polyuretinitis and a haziness ring around it. This is what you call as headlight in the fog appearance. We only have to put one number. And stomach is cut here, and this is the D1.